Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I have right here the Samsung TV. And of course, this TV is running Tizen. And as you can see here, this is the remote. And today I'll be showing you how to, to basically uh, run or showing you today how to, to convert um, Samsung Tizen to Android. Or just basically where you have a Samsung TV. I'll show you how to have the best of both worlds by being able to run Android apps. Now, of course, if you know, you know, um, straight out of the box, most people who are used to Android um, find that as soon as they have their Samsung TV, because in the past, Samsung TVs used to be um, the Android OS um, that was run on these TVs. But of, as of the latest updates, the Tizen, they find that if you get a newer TV or if you updated an older TV that's compatible, they are switched to this interface. The problem is it looks like Android, but it's not Android. So in other words, you have um, something looking like Android, but you do not have the app support. All right, so let's find out how to have Tizen and still be able to have your Android apps on Tizen. So Samsung TV Tizen to Android. All right, let's go. So here's my remote, as I was saying. And as you can see, this is Tizen. You can see the sidebar. You can see the usual um, layout of stuff. All right, so check it out, guys. Um, I can easily have Android apps, and it's very easy. So if I do this, this is my TV already set up. All I got to do is just simply switch. There you go. Check it out. I am now running Android apps. It's quite easy. And I still am able to use my remote. So check it out. Using the Samsung remote. So it's as if I'm still on the TV. I didn't switch or anything. Um, it makes everything um, intuitive. If I go to the App Store. I have access to all the usual apps and all the usual stuff that you can have and that's all the robust android apps that you'd normally have here they're all here and every app normally that normally works would work all right so you see and i'm back on tizen so i'm easily able to switch as you can see here i can easily switch to android here from tizen so i'm able to run all my android apps and it switched seamlessly and I'm easily able to use the Samsung remote without using anything else. All right. Let me show you this is done on your device. I'll have a link in the description to this simple device that you'll need to get to add to your TV. All right. So this is what's connected to the TV by the HDMI. And this is a um, Fire Stick. It's an Amazon um, Fire Stick. So, of course, an Amazon Fire Stick uses um, Android as its um, background OS. All you got to do is purchase this. It is very cheap, not so expensive, and it adds additional functionality to your TV. It comes with a small adapter, and it connects to that HDMI port, and it has its own remote. You don't need to use the remote. You can always use your default Samsung remote, which is very convenient. And once it's there, all you got to do is um, switch sources once it's powered. I have to just hit the sources button. Once I hit the sources button, it's easily able to um, switch or I can go back to my recent as you seen on screen and once I switch over as seen here I am in the main menu of this app and as you can see all the apps are here all the major apps movies and so on which is part of Android and this one is um, way better than the interface for the TV, which is default, as you're able to access all the normal apps and of course, all the Android apps. That's a part of the Android ecosystem while still being able to switch back between Tizen and this OS. You could also achieve the same thing by adding an Android box or some form of um, Android-based TV systems. As I said, this is literally Android although it's Amazon system, but it works quite fine and it allows you to do whatever you want to do. If you have any questions, please ask them below. So that's how to do it on your TV. See you in the next one. Bye.